Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to walk you through how to install Racefly onto this Flip32 F4 flight controller that I have right here. This is not a brand new bore. If you have a brand new bore, the process might be different because this involves with the STM32 bootloader that it comes pre installed. So if you have a brand new board, you have to watch my other video, how to install Betafly 3.0 onto Flip32 F4 flight controller for reference. But this is not a brand new board, so you have to follow through uh, these steps here. So let's open Betafly. Here, you need to install all these uh, USB drivers for your system. I use Windows system, so keep in mind. It might be different for your system anyway. So let's download the first one. Click on it. Open the that page. So download the CP210X Windows driver to download it. Depends on your Windows system, either 32-bit or 64-bit, you have to select the right file. Run. Oh, actually, I'm going to extract these files before installing it. So let's extract these files. Go into the folder and select install for your system. Click next accept next finish all right it's done so you can close this and the next driver is the stm 32 vcp driver the problem with stm is that you have to input your email in order to download the the, the drivers So when you um, select get software, it always pops up asking for your email address and blah, 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 blah. But I've done it already, so I don't have to do it again. So anyway, the process is the same. Just uh, install it. It might be different for your system. You might not need it. But I uh, install it anyway. Click next, finish. So that's for SDM32 uh, driver. The next one will be Zadig. It sounds funny. Or Zadig. Click here to download and depends on the Windows system. I use Windows 10, so I select Windows Vista or Windows. So later, select Save. Open Folders. Select Run. So the first thing you gotta do is select Option, List All Devices. This board is uh, not a brand new board. So if you have a brand new board, you probably see the STM32 bootloader here. But I already have Betafly onto it, so that's why you see a revolution. And just select revolution here. Over here, you need to select USB serial CDC. You need to have this one over here. Make sure that you have it over there. Replace driver. Click. And once it's done, close. 
close this close this and you can close us now you can close beta fly as well okay that's done for the uh the drivers now you need to go to race fly to download the latest uh configurator and the firmware you need to go to racefly.net and select download now it might pop up uh, asking you to register for the website but uh, sometimes you don't have to do it you just have to go back to the page and select download now again and there you go you can select the latest race fly configurator click download but I find the this is not the latest one so I'll show you another way to how to uh, get the latest configurator and this is the flip 32 f4 flight controller that you have to search for f the revo 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 uh, firmware so you need to download this click on it save it to your system you need to know where you save it for later on it's done and this is the way to get the firmware and configurator onto your system but I'm gonna show you another way to get the latest one which through slack channel so you need to get invited into this channel in order to to get access to it so rayflies.net click type invite and you have to enter your email here to get invited into this uh, slack channel so I already did it for myself you gotta do it on your own email and follow through the email instruction now to get invited so if you done so you go to slack.com you should be able to see the race fly channel right here click on it to get into it probably you have to install some and you can go into this general thing over here you can type latest bill latest bill like that click enter slack pop slack bot here I'm gonna show you the latest firmware and latest uh, uh, configurator so, but if you cannot see it you can go into general here and pin click on this one you go over this side there's the latest firmware for some target revo target and this is your configurator you can click on it to download it into your system so here click to download and it's gonna pop up this type of file can harm your computer do you want to keep it okay just keep it so remember the the previous one that I downloaded is not the latest one this is the latest one uh, over here this is all saved into this folder that I have so in order to install it so it's, it's gonna close it make it safe. you go into more tools extensions and you need to turn on developer mode and you, you remember that we downloaded two files uh, configurator files this one okay, let's let install this one drop the install you just drag it over and click add app there you go race fly you click on it you see this configurator version 3.4.3 .3. it's just not not the latest one so uh, so I'm gonna remove it I'm gonna remove it so remove from Chrome remove I'm gonna do it again for the latest one so you need to have this page developer mode remember in another file call like this say drag it over and drop say add app click 
and just add it. So you click on it. The version right now is 3.5.3. Yeah, I don't know what's the difference, but it's, it's the latest one. So what next is you select firmware flasher. You need to put uh, this fly controller into the DFU mode. The way of doing so is you need to press this button and hold it while plugging in the power, the USB into your computer. So right now it's black. So to unplug it, it's power off. So click this small little tiny button over here. I don't know if you can see it. Okay. Tiny dot tip. Press and hold it. Okay, and when you press and hold, plug your USB port into your computer. And you can see it's in a DFU mode. The uh, LED here is not flashing. Oh, you can see it's over here. It says DFU. Okay, so you know that it's in DFU mode. You need to load the firmware, you know, uh, from file from previously loaded. So you send this a Revo board, fly controller, so you select Revo, select open, and now it's ready to flash. So click flash firmware. Okay, it's flashing. It's erasing right now. So you don't have the thing is that you don't have to leave any of these things on. Just keep these things off like this. No boot sequence. It keep them off. Leave it at default. So now it's done. You can exit. Put on welcome. Click connect. There you go. It's connected. Finish. So now you have a latest race fly onto this uh, Flip 32F4 fly controller. I haven't tried it out. I haven't uh, uh, fly this fly, uh, firmware yet. But I'm looking forward to fly and to test it. See how it's compared to Betafly. I like Betafly. But uh, it's not one way to, to have fun with it. You know, it's a hobby, and I can uh, test it, fly it. All right, now. So let's try to see what they have. Whole bunch of uh, configuration settings, uh, black box telemetry. It's probably oh, another thing is that I want to uh, show you the setup port to so this board. Uh, they use uh, uh, UART number one as a serial um, connection for SBUS. So you need to leave this off. Turn this one on. Sorry, turn this one on. And then telemetry, I have it set up at uh, UART number three. So I use this one. I use smart port telemetry and click save and reboot. So it's auto connect. So because of this board, uh, this fly controller use. Uh, um, yeah, there it is. Good. Just have it like that. And of course, you have to go into configuration. So like your S bus, serial port, whatever. The, uh, I'm not going to show you how to set up this board with race fly, but uh, I'm just going to. Uh, okay, so. Thanks for watching. And, uh, and uh, if you like the video, please subscribe and give a thumbs up or whatever. Uh, thank you for watching again, and see you next video. Bye bye.